The cold weather has led to another carbon monoxide poisoning death. A man at Greystains was overcome by fumes while using barbecue beads to heat his home. Despair for his brother lost to a silent killer. He's gone. I can't bring him back. I can't do nothing. As a brother, I can't do anything else for him. After a barbecue with friends on a cold Thursday night, 29-year-old Ajantha Navaranthanam took the heat beads into his room to help stay warm. Not knowing the carbon monoxide they give off was filling the sealed room, Jissy found him the next day. When I tried to open the door, he was lying on the floor. Taken to Westmead Hospital, he couldn't be revived. As a brother, he is not only a brother. He was looking after me like me a father. He fled Sri Lanka for Australia in 2012, but with his refugee case still unresolved, Ajantha Anthony's wife, three-year-old son and two-year-old daughter are still there. He didn't see her face. He didn't see his younger kid's face. Fire authorities say the cold snap has seen a spike in similar cases. Last month, a couple were killed at Currajong and a Penrith family in hospital. Outdoor heaters were not intended for indoor use. Um, they give off carbon monoxide. And standard smoke alarms don't detect it. 1% uh, of carbon monoxide by volume in a room will, um, can be fatal. A post-mortem and report to the coroner will officially confirm his cause of death. His brother is now appealing to the government to allow Jantham's family to come to Australia to collect his body. They just didn't realise the dangers, says Jissy. Now he hopes everyone will. Paul Caddack, 7 News.